Here we have the main parts that make up the Procaster transmitter system. Right here we have the Procaster transmitter itself. This unit mounts outside and is connected to the studio interface which is inside with this four conductor shielded cable. The entire system is powered with a 12 volt wall adapter right here or it can be powered from a regular 12 volt battery. The unit uses the entire system uses approximately uh, one and a half watts so a 12 volt battery would actually power this transmitter for many many hours. Also included in the package is a three section aluminum antenna. This aluminum antenna consists of three different diameter rods, 5 eighths, half inch, and 3 eighths. And once assembled, it forms one long antenna. The antenna sections are put together using slots right here in the tubes and the smaller diameter tubes slide inside the larger diameter tubes and are fastened using these stainless steel hose clamps. The net result is a very strong, lightweight, sturdy antenna. This antenna, once assembled, mounts with these two holes right here onto these two studs on the side of the transmitter. The entire assembly then can be either flat mounted onto a vertical surface or using these included clamps can be attached to a mast up to two inches in diameter. This uh, Procaster casing is aluminum, it's very lightweight, very easy to mount, and the cover, which is over here, uh, is also uh, weatherproof. It has closed foam on the back, which forms a weatherproof assembly. These mounts here are siliconed, so no water can get into the unit. Right here is where the connecting cable enters in a liquid type fitting. And over here you see the copper ground lug. This is connected to a suitable ground. AM transmitters require a good RF ground to operate properly and provide decent range. Once the unit is assembled in position, tuning is done using this included tuning tool and down at this end, the hollow end, this goes over the tuning capacitor right here and once you turn it it turns continuously. The tuning process is very simple. You just monitor this tuning meter right here and what you're looking for is a maximum reading on this meter when this tuning capacitor is turned. Once you've done that your system is tuned. There are no different crystals to order or to uh, uh, change because this is a phase lock loop quartz system and using these switches here you can select the frequency that you desire. This cable connects through here and connects to this terminal block. As you can see this terminal block at this end has five connections one of them is a shield. Two of the connections are for power and ground. And the other two connections are for balanced audio. At the other end, 
at the studio interface end, you'll notice that there's only four connections. The shield is not used at this end. The wire is simply fed in through this hole right here and connected to this terminal block on this side. Two connections are for power, the other two connections are for balanced audio. Very simple to set up, very consistent results, and very durable. We're going to be doing some more videos uh, to show various aspects of the Procaster transmitter, but this was just to give you an idea of what's involved with the initial components and how easy it is to set up. Thanks for watching.